All right, it is time for the 2018 AFC South preview. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, Jacksonville, it, it, here's, here's the four teams. The Jaguars, the Tennessee Titans, the Houston Texans, and the Indianapolis Colts. Two teams made the playoffs last year. Yeah, the Titans and the Jaguars, and both of them won games. That's right. Yeah. Kind of it, it this is second a, round. This is a tough uh tough I, division. I think this could be one of the better divisions in football. I agree with you on that. Uh let's go on and start off with last year's division champs, the Jacksonville Jaguars. They went ten and six, won the division. Their over under this year is eight. They are plus one fifty to win the division. Uh they are co division favorites along with the Texans. Um look, their biggest thing this year, they gotta keep Fournette healthy. They signed Dante Moncrief. Wide receiver. They signed tight end Austin Severian Jenkins, and they signed guard Andrew Norwell, which they needed because while their rushing game was good last year, it was incredibly inefficient. Now, yeah, the 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 their offense got substantially worse by losing Allen Robinson, who got hurt, I guess, and Allen Hearns, and yeah. bringing in Moncrief. Like, I, I'm not a fan of anybody. I mean, they drafted DJ Chark. Nobody thinks he's going to be great this year because he's a burner. Nobody really knows if Blake Boros can throw the deep ball or not. He's more of a precision guy, short passes. Look, their defense is unreal. Defense won games last year. Like and it's, it's, it's the reason they almost made the Super Bowl. W- running the football, don't turn the ball over, and playing good defense has won championships in the past. It will continue to win championships. I agree. Uh, their schedule is insanely difficult. It's I, a tough, this tough conference. I've got them 9-7 and seven this year. I've got them over the eight. But I've got them nine and seven. I've got them nine and seven too. The only reason Houston fell off last year is because Watson went down and they got nobody behind him at quarterback. Yeah, I mean Tom Savage just can't do it. And Savage is now in New Orleans. Yeah. So 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 I got them nine and seven as well. Got them over the eight, but that is third in the division. Third in the division for me. Where do you have them in the division? I have them third in the division. Oh, okay. Yep. All as right. Matter of fact, I certainly do. Wow. Uh, let's move on. Let's talk about the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans. Nine and seven. Last year. Nine and seven last year. Uh, over under this year is eight and a half. They are plus 300 to win the division. So they're third to win the division. Uh, new coach Mike Vrabel jumps in. New offensive coordinator from the Rams, Matt LaFleur. He was with the Falcons when Matt Ryan won his MVP and then jumped to the Rams with, uh, with Sean McVay. He has learned under Kyle Shanahan. Yep. And Sean McVay. And that's, those are two guys that I want a piece of that offense. Exactly. Exactly. And which is why Mike Vrabel brought him in. Like right. it's he, they released, he almost got the head coaching job. Yeah. They released running back DeMarco Murray. They signed Deion Lewis to pair with Derrick Henry. Love that. They have got to keep wide receiver Corey Davis healthy. Look out for linebacker Rashawn Evans this year out of Alabama. But the guy is a bona fide leader. He just is. He's a he's a playmaker. He can run that defense. Um, the new uniforms look good. I do like the new unis. I like the new unis. What uh, uh, What do you got? Man, this is going to sound asinine to you. <laughs> I love the makeup of this team. I think okay. their general manager, what's his name, John Robinson, yeah. he has done a fantastic job building this team. I got him 11-5. and five. I like the schedule. Gary, so we talk about this all the time. We never talk beforehand. We never go over who we like, who we don't. I have them eleven and five. I have them winning this division. And let me tell you this: I'm gonna, I'm in a huge fantasy league, big big money, and and uh, <laughs> like, yeah, but you, I'm, you gotta but throw I'm, that in. But I'm giving away a lot of notes here. Marcus Mariota is going to be. He's not even being drafted in fantasy. I think they are going to run RPOs. Yeah, and and play action all over the place. I, I'm I'm not hating on your boy Derrick Henry. I don't think Derrick Henry is going to be a factor. I think they brought Deion Lewis in to run the RPOs with Mariota. This will be Mariota's best year yet. Yeah. It will be Lewis's best year yet. You remember me telling you that he was like that Mariota was going to be a Hall of Fame yeah. quarterback? No, no. It, it, listen, saying he was going to be a Hall of Famer like Clay Travis back in the day means nothing, okay? Because you never saw the guy. This offense, the way offenses are going. I think they are going to wreck the NFL offensively. I agree. I think they're going to put up crazy points. I don't know what Look, the defense can the, do. Listen listen to their uh, road games, all right? Yeah. Uh, it, this is why I love their schedule so much. At the Dolphins to open the season. At Jacksonville, tough game. 
at Buffalo, at the Chargers, at Dallas, at Indianapolis, at Houston, at the Giants. All of which are winnable. Like, uh, maybe the Texans game. Chargers game's going to be tough. Chargers game will be tough. Char- Chargers going to be one of the best teams but, in football this year. But it's not even in L.A. It doesn't matter. That, the, 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 no, the Chargers, the Chargers game are, is in London. doesn't matter. That Chargers team is going to be really I know good. they're going to be good. I'm just saying it's in London. That's right. That's right. It's not a true road game. Well, the Chargers, so really Chargers, Chargers got, don't have a home field advantage anyway. Yeah, well, agreed. Agreed. But even still, it's not like Tennessee has to go out to the West Coast. That's right. they got to go to London. Which is closer for them than, closer it is for LA. Them than it is for LA. <laughs> okay. Touche. Touche. I, I like this team a lot. I am a crazy big fan of all of the offensive pieces they put together. The thing that scares me is I think they're going to be offensively great. I don't really trust any of the receivers, but I think in the NFL. That, well, that's why I said you've got to keep Corey Davis healthy. See, I don't healthy. even think you have to keep Corey Davis healthy. In the NFL, receivers come out of woodworks. How well, many, look, they've got Delaney un, Walker. He's a pro bowler. undrafted free agents come out of nowhere? Or guys come from small schools to become great receivers and great cornerbacks. No, you're right. That's the one position that I would never draft at a high draft capital. What? Because it, it's just so hard to say you were good in college, you'll be good in the pros. And if you're running an RPO, like – You don't you, have to be that – you just have to You don't have to right have a number route. one. No, yeah. you just have to run the right route and get open. But I think Deion Lewis, fantasy, crazy stud, going super late, and Marcus Mariota not even being drafted in leagues, go get those dudes. Spin the cheese on them. I promise you, you won't won't regret that. Move on to the Houston Texans. Last year, they went 4-12. That is a direct result of Deshaun Watson going down. down. Uh, And the fact that they didn't even start in week one, which was just asinine to me. That whole thing was stupid. God bless America. Bill O'Brien, what the hell are you doing? Uh, anyway, so over-under is nine this year. Uh, they're plus 150 to win the division. They are the co-favorites along with the Jags. Uh, Deshaun Watson's back. J.J. Watt is back. Lamar Miller and uh, Dante Foreman, solid backfield, solid running back. They always have a good running game. Uh, they upgraded both their offensive and defensive lines in the uh, in the offseason. Secondary should be better with rookie Justin Reed coming in. Bill O'Brien is 31-33 and 33 in four years with a 1-2 and two record in the playoffs. I ask you this. Does he need to win big this year? I don't know that he needs to win big this year. Like people but he's never love had, him. But he's never had a good quarterback. You can't judge some of these head coaches based on who, who's been their quarterback, though. I, I mean, man, I, don't care. I don't care. I understand how, that, but I would at be some more, point you got to create one. I would, I gotta, did, no, God, no. You can only do what your GM brings you when he brings you – you know, crap. Tom yeah, Savage. Tom, it, yeah, no Tom offense Savage to Tom and, Savage, and, and, but no, like, no, pretty, pretty offensive to Tom Savage and the heist. Uh, Brock Osweiler. When you when you spend like forty million dollars on a guy like that. By the way, Brock Osweiler the, is playing for the Dolphins now. Do you know what that? What the hell are you supposed to do as a coach? How are like the, like his two quarterbacks on his roster were Tom Savage and Brock Osweiler. How many games do you want him to win? And he, and he still made the playoffs. Like, what do you want him to do? And won a game. Yeah. So I'm not. Like, I'm not. I'm not going to hate on him too much. Uh, I think they have found their quarterback. Uh, they they obviously have one of the best receivers in the world in Deshaun Watson. Uh, I mean Deshaun Hopkins. Yeah. Yes, Did I you're say right. That right. Yeah. yeah, I got the right. Yeah, Hopkins is the receiver. <laughs> Brain not working tonight. Um, and uh, no, I I I like this team. I like I the love, team. I like the schedule too. Let me tell you what I love. I love this defense, and I'm not worried about J.J. Watt coming back. I know he's the All American boy that everyone always talks about. He is a shell of himself, and Clowney, Clowney, is, Clowney is wrecking the NFL. He's one of the best defensive players. He's probably top three or four. Nobody ever talks about him because he plays opposite of JJ, and everyone just always is a blowhard for JJ. But that guy is a beast. He is a stud. They got the honey badger in on a one year deal. Yeah. So he's trying to get paid. I'm going to tell you this: that defense is going to hurt people. They're going to wreck the league. I got them ten and six. I got him eleven and five. I like him even more than you do. Yeah, but uh, now a lot of this hinges on Watson being oh, healthy. But yeah. we're not gonna like we're just counting on that. All That's right, right, so we're gonna count on it. Oh, if Watson uh, goes down, this oh, you just set all this on fire. Yeah, all of it's they on fire. They cannot win with anybody else. Uh, they play at New England, at Tennessee, at Indy, at Jacksonville, at Denver, at Washington, at the Jets, and at the Eagles. 
tough road slate. No, they're, it's, it's not going to be easy. It's definitely not going to be easy. I've got them starting out 0-2, but then winning 11 of well, their – yeah, uh, when you start out with at New England and at Philly. Or at, at, at New England and at Tennessee. At Tennessee, yeah. That's, I mean, you got two road games against two playoff teams last year. Yeah. That's brutal, man. But it's all right. It's a long season. But it's all right. It's, so, a, it's a long season. All right, so 11-5 and five for me, 10-6 and six for you. Uh, let's see, Indianapolis Colts. Let's talk about the Colts. You want to talk about how good Andrew Luck is now? They were they, well. They were four and twelve last year without him. Jacoby Brissett came in, at least made them respectable, kind of. They had one of the worst offensive lines in the league last year. They had the worst defense in the league last year. Maybe, they're, maybe one of the worst. Maybe not the. They're worst. over under this year seven and a half. They are plus three eighty to win the division, which is better odds. That's just like, because people believe in Andrew Luck for some reason. Still, new coach Frank Reich. Former Eagles offensive coordinator, Andrew Luck is back. They drafted Quentin Nelson from Notre Dame at number Need, six. Needed to do that. Needed that. Uh, Marlon Max at running back, but they drafted uh, Naeem uh, Hines and Jordan Wilkins in the middle of the draft this year, so obviously they don't really believe in Mack all that much. Uh, the defense has got to improve, but a lot of that could just be that if Andrew Luck is able to keep the offense on the field for longer – then the defense will just get better just because they don't have to play out there as much, that's right? All, that was a big problem last true. year. That's Time of possession true. is huge in the NFL. Uh, look, I've got them 6-10. and 10. I've got them going under the 7.5. i got them 4-12. 4-12. and I don't 12. think you can sit out two years of football and come back and say, yeah, I'm good again. I think the game moves too fast. I think Andrew Luck is done. I think we'll never see the same luck again. And, and I hate it because he was really good. And other than T.Y. Hilton, name another receiver that's going to catch 50 balls this year. Yeah, I mean, you might be right. I don't I, think that I, I team, don't think they, they are trying to get better the right way, the way I would build a team, which is in the trenches. They are trying to get better on the offense and defensive but, line. But that doesn't happen that takes, immediately. That takes time. That takes time. If I had to pick a running back here, uh, the kid from Ole Miss that got uh, drafted. Wilkins. Yeah, Wilkins. Uh, super fast, elusive, not a power guy. I think that's a guy that Andrew Luck is going to be dumping balls off to yeah. on short, easy receptions. Um, if I had to guess for any fantasy options, every fantasy advice I've ever listened to so far, man, Luck is flying up people's draft boards, and they are looking up. Oh, as long as he's healthy, he's going to be a top four quarterback in the NFL. That's just I wrong. Just, I just don't believe that. All right, so I've got the Jags 9-7. and seven. What do you got them? 9-7. and seven. All right, I've got the uh, Tennessee Titans eleven and five. Eleven and five. And that's our division winner, right? That that is my division winner, yes. Uh let's see. Houston Texans, I've got eleven and five. You got what, ten and ten six? Ten and six. And I've got the Colts at six and ten. And you've got them what, four and four twelve? Four and twelve. And and let me tell you this. It would not shock me because the AFC is kind of down this year. It wouldn't shock me if if three playoff teams come from this division. Uh, you might be right. Jacksonville. The, 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 well, other, the other division we're going to get into, the AFC West, a little scary, yeah. but but I don't know. NFC West. The AFC it. West. In the AFC for wild card oh, spots. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're talking about for wild, for wild card spots. I thought you were talking about what we're recording this evening. No. For, for wild card <laughs> spots, I um, that's the only other conference that scares me for wild card spots. Yeah, you're probably right. Nobody else. You are probably right. All right, we're going to move off of that. Uh, next up, we're going to do the NFC East.